Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. Today's video is all about the not too shabby, enjoy this life, free virtual crafty retreat that I am teaching at next weekend. Now I have shared about this before already on my channel with the official announcement video, which I will have linked in that description box below. But today I'm going to come back, kind of give you a reminder, and we're going to do our homework together. These are going to be kind of what you'll want to prep if you're going to craft along with me next weekend. This free two day event has a total of eight different crafty instructors with a wide variety of class topics. I know that you're not gonna want to miss it, so keep listening to find out how you can get your free ticket if you haven't already. For my class, I'm gonna show you how you can create cute, quick and easy mini slimline cards with pattern paper and ephemera. And a bonus, I will be providing an exclusive sheet load of cards to all registered attendees which if you plan on registering or you already are, make sure to keep watching so you can find out how you're going to get that printable sent to your inbox. If you have not yet registered for your free ticket to this virtual craft retreat, check out the very top of the description box below. I will have a link to a page with some more information and the button to get registered. My class will take place on Sunday, September 15th, and that day's events start at 2 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Central. As of the time I'm recording this, I'm not sure of the approximate time that my presentation will go live, but as we get closer to the date, I will know. So I will make sure to update the description box below, again toward the top, with the approximate time so you can make sure to join us. For today's homework video, I will have the exclusive sheet load of cards printable off to my side to look at it so we can talk about the products we'll need, but I'm not yet going to share a look at it with you because I want it to be a surprise. There is though a little sneak peek at it if you look in the background of all the beautiful products that I'm going to be choosing from for my cards. And speaking of cards, as kind of a teaser for the event and to get excited about it, I did revisit some past mini slimline sheet load of cards editions and use the papers and ephemera from the exclusive bundle that you could have purchased. Unfortunately, since we're only a week out, it is too late to order it now, but I know that you'll probably have something in your own stash that's comparable if you didn't get that bundle. Let's go ahead and take a look at those cards. The cards in front of me represent the five previous sheet load of cards editions that I've made that feature mini slimline cards. In the upper left are the two cards that I made during my announcement video. I used two pieces of pattern paper to yield those two cards. In the middle, I used a version where it was a mini slimline with a tent topper. So the card itself is smaller, but if you see here, with the tent topper or the focal point at the top, it still fits in that mini slimline size. The remaining three cards are from other editions that I have created. Now, while on most of them, I did use ephemera for the focal points. I also use the Enjoy This Life die from the bundle. And down here on the bottom, I use one of the stamps from the stamp set that comes in it. If you would like to revisit any of these past mini slimline sheet load of cards, I will make a special playlist for you and I'll have it down in the description box below underneath the related videos section. I had a super fun time creating again with them and I hope that you will too. Now let's get our homework done. The first thing that you'll want to have on hand before we start pulling products for our creations is the exclusive sheet load of cards printable. To get this file sent to your inbox, you need to sign up for a special mailing list of mine. If you haven't yet done that, I do have a link down in the description box below. I'm going to be sending out the file 
the day before my class goes live on the Not Too Shabby channel. So on Saturday, September 14th, right around noon central, check your email box. If you don't see it in your main inbox, you might have to check the junk or spam folder. I will also be sending it out one more time after the event is over on Monday, September 16th for those who get signed up for the email list during the weekend. Now, when you download your file, it's going to be three pages. The first page is going to be my copyright and intellectual information page. This has some information about how it can be used. And in this black box are some important printing instructions. Basically, you don't need to print page one. Just please read over the top. And then when you do go to print it, you'll want to print it at 100% no scaling and just print pages two and three. Now, if you do come up with any questions about the printable, my email address is right here and you can reach out to me and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Once you have your sheet load printed, then you're going to want to grab your products. Most of the supplies I'm going to get out for today's homework are going to come from the Not Too Shabby Enjoy This Life Retreat Bundle. Now, if you weren't able to snag the bundle in time, you can always use the same products I'll be showing you from your own stash. The first thing you'll need is four pieces of six by six pattern paper. For my cards today, I will be taking them all from the Fall Life paper pad, but if you got the early bird bonus or if you just added it onto your kit, you could also pair some of these pattern papers with papers from the Fall Life plaids. When you go to choose your four pattern papers, you'll want two pairs of two. Now these could be the same pairs or you could switch them up like you'll see me here in just a minute so your cards look a little different. Let's take a look at the papers that I decided to use for my project. Here's a look at the four pattern papers that I chose. You'll see that I have two different pairs that go together. Over here on the left, I chose the pink kind of floral with green leaves. And for my coordinating pattern paper, I chose this pink and white plaid. Over on the right, I just fell in love with these cute little dressed up birdies and pumpkins. And to go along with it, I'm using this kind of purple foliage paper because if you look at our little birdies dress, it has kind of that same pattern in it. Now, when I am choosing pattern papers for my sheet load of cards, I will usually choose one pattern that is colorful and a little bit more busy. And then for the other patterns that have to go with it, the coordinating pieces, I try to usually do maybe a single color or just a couple colors with kind of a muted pattern. That way you don't have two busy papers competing with each other. They just make a nice complement. The next thing you'll need is nine sheets of cardstock. You're going to want eight that will be your card bases and a little piece for kind of the focal point. I just got out white. And then you'll need one piece of cardstock that's in a coordinating color to your pattern papers. Luckily, the pairs that I chose, they can both use this light pink cardstock. But if you find that your pattern papers need different colors for the matting, then you can do a half sheet of each color. Since the focus of my class is creating quick and easy cards with pattern paper and ephemera, that's what you'll want to get out next. For me, I'm going to be using the ephemera that came in the bundle. There are lots of different styles and colors and patterns in this package. And what I did is I had my printable right in front of me and I kind of knew what the focal area was. So I went through and I kind of held this up to the printable um, to see what I thought would look good on the size needed and with the pattern papers. Now, even though I won't give you a sneak peek at the printable itself, I did want to let you know what size the focal point area is in case you want to go ahead and kind of pre-choose either ephemera or maybe you're going to use a stamp sentiment or an image. The area that you'll have for the focal point is going to be two inches wide by two and a quarter inches tall. 
and a suggestion from the printable is to round those top two corners. So you know what I would do, there is a, some room below this if your ephemera hangs down, but I kind of went through and I saw, oh, what would that piece look like on the focal point or that piece? And I went ahead and selected some for my final cards. This is the ephemera that I chose for the eight cards that I'm going to create. Some are just single pieces and like I mentioned, some are kind of longer. But I also grabbed and made clusters out of some of the smaller pieces of ephemera. For instance, over here I put three together in a little cluster. And then here I have a bird and then an autumn sign. And then you'll see here, if I bring back in my focal point, you'll kind of see how that will look on there and it will give you an idea of what it will look like on the final card. Besides ephemera to decorate my cards, I also added a little sparkle using the glitter enamel dots that came in the retreat bundle. I just like how these add just a little bit of extra shine, but they do keep your card pretty flat. Now, if you want to use gems from your stash or diamond dots or sequins, you can do that as well. Just get out whatever looks best for your cards. Not only will you need some pretty products to put your cards together, but you'll also need some basic tools. Like I mentioned when I showed you the size of the focal point, there is some suggested corner rounding. I got out a corner chomper to do mine, but if you have a smaller one, a little corner punch, that works as well. And if you don't have a corner rounder, you can definitely just leave those square. I will also be using a mini score buddy to get a nice clean fold on my cards. And in the background, I need something to cut my paper down, so I'll be using my big trimmer. Now, to hold the card together, of course, you'll want a variety of adhesives. You might use a tape runner, liquid glue, whichever is your preference. And if you want to add a little extra dimension to your card, you might want to get out some foam tape or foam squares. The only thing I don't have pictured that is kind of suggested as optional is if you do want to stamp some images for the focal point, you'll want to go ahead and get out a stamping tool or stamp blocks and inks. I hope this little homework prep video was helpful and inspiring for next weekend's retreat. If it was, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. If I did leave you with any questions, again, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.